I want to talk a little bit about slap. Um, when I was coming up as a bass player, um, my sort of chief inspiration on slap was, was Flea. So when he does like his higher ground, they cover Stevie Wonder's higher ground, and he'll be gone. He'll, he'll be going like, uh, you know. Chad would be doing. <laughs> that sounded like a Chad Smith okay. part to yeah. me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, yeah, Chad was always kind of light on the drums. And a side know? stick? Really kind of a dainty side. thing. <laughs> Three, uh, you know, this, this is his setup, too. <laughs> um, but, you know, Flea, Flea would be playing very percussive and a lot of dead notes, you know? <laughs> so I really learned how to hit the strings without making any notes ring out. So you know, if you did that completely. You know, and he also, you know, I don't know to what degree Flea did this or, or where exactly I got it, but another kind of thing you can add in is you can start to add in different rhythms within it, so like a triplet rhythm. So like... So yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's again thinking about yourself like a drummer and this is a particular particular style of slap which is uh distinct from sort of say like a Victor Wooten style of slap where he's going kind of like using his thumb more like a pick and he's slapping through the string right. and then he'll pull up and slap on the on the way up too and he'll get a he'll get a double slap that way but I never did that I always did the bounce off which is the flea thing <laughs> Slapping and bouncing off the string, and huh. so that's a that's a, a triplet thing you can add in there, and then another way you can do that is by and is by doing a, a, a pull off, and and so the pop the pop part of it, and you can pop with two fingers instead of one, so you can pop on two strings. Oh. So whereas on the first example, I'm doing, I'm hitting pupute, pupute, I'm hitting it twice with my thumb. In this case, I'm hitting it once with my thumb and I'm popping off twice. So index and then middle. Ex exactly. So. Oh, wow. It's a lot of practice to get this, right? It, it takes it takes many hours of playing it, but once you get it comfortable, it's another tool in your arsenal that you can pull out as a sort of rhythmic kind of splash, you know, a, a little bit of a, of a rhythmic embellishment that you can use. I'll switch between slap and finger style, you know? 
Whatever gets you to where you want to be in terms of the, the, uh, you know, basically vocalizing your part by whatever means that you that you have. You know, you, you really don't have to do any of these things the way I'm doing them, or the way Victor does them, or the way Flea does them. As long as you're getting across the sort of rhythmic and melodic information that you want to get across. Did you ever wish you could have that cool hand position or the... Yeah. It looks cool, right? It looks really cool. You know, I feel like Larry Graham, Larry Graham had that, Oh, yeah. You know? oh, wow. <laughs> His thumb is like... Yeah. yeah it's way... Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and Marcus Miller, too. Oh, yeah. You know? It looks way cooler, right? It does look very cool, and it's something I should consider. But I, you never you never tried no, to do it? No, no, no. And, and actually, a lot of those guys are using their arm yeah as a mute sometimes too which i never got into okay gotcha. but it's a very <laughs> it's a very cool look yeah a lot of it's about the look yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you want to <laughs> now i i someone showed me the flea triplet as a hammer on <laughs> You never did that? May well be, but I never did it. Okay. okay. Yours sounds a little better. <laughs> they also, you know, you can also, do, you can do a hammer on. Yeah, uh, yeah I remember you do that. You know. Wow. That's kind of Vic Marcus or Victor. It does sound like a Victor thing. Okay. Yeah. I guess I do kind of do you it. You do it occasionally, okay. Because there's, because there's, instead of, there's, you're just hitting one slap and one pop, so. These are all things that just come with time spent slapping. You know, you, I, I, that's kind of all I played for years. I mean, oh, really? when I was in high school, that that's all I wanted to do for, for a long, for a long time. It was like, Hey, sometimes slapping sounds good. <laughs> to quote Chuck Graney. That's right. And if you have a little partition you can put up in the studio, like Chuck had to with Peg, yeah. all the better. Uh, it's very true, though. Don't, don't, don't fear it. Don't fear it. Don't overuse it. Or do. Use it as much as you want, frankly. <laughs> there aren't many examples of it uh, in pop tunes, I guess. There's a couple. Oh. Ready, ready. Oh no. Marcus Miller. Marcus Miller. I love that because I don't even know if he does it the first chorus. He might just play finger style, but you know, you've got that cool, you got that cool slide. <laughs> that was that a Will Smith sample too? Just the two? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the two main slap lines of our generation were yeah. Will Smith samples. <laughs> Marcus Miller. Yeah. And then Freddie Reddy. Yeah. On uh, Forget, Forget Me Nuts. Forget Me Nuts. Which yeah, is yeah. Men in Black. So our... Yeah. our, our So, so true. You thank uh, Will Smith for bringing back slap bass. I, I, I never tied them. Well, yeah. bringing back slap in general, really. Yeah. If you think about <laughs> the last couple of years. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the 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 pop bass lines that used slap, you could really count on one hand. You know, like yeah. that you know from that the radio. That are iconic. That you know from the radio. I think that Chuck Rainey when he he was. In that time, I think it was uh, really coming on the scene and mm -hmm. almost became uh, a cliche in the mainstream, the slap bass thing. Apparently, so yeah. We didn't live through that. We don't have that association with no. it of being overused. No. So I, I've never feared it. No, no. And, 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 and so for many years, I was playing as much slap as I could. 
And then I really got into finger style, and I was like, been there, done that on the slap. Oh, okay. And that's why in Wolfpack's catalog, you don't hear a lot of slap. No, it's a live, you do it live a I'll lot. I'll do it live, but we have a couple, you know, uh, that's what, because we'll that's do it what live. Ah, uh, LAX. Yeah, so LAX does have slap, and often, you know, if you use it right, it does become an iconic part of a song, and yeah. that's what's happening with Forget Me Nots and with just the two of us. It's like, wow, that song isn't that song without the slap, you know? So, um, Incredible. Incredible, man. 